Welcome back to another beautiful day in the land of music. My name is Douglas and today we're going to talk about morphing controls in the Nord Stage 3. Now this all takes place up here in the Morpha sign and essentially this allows you to take some of the commonly used controls on the panel and morph them to either the modulation wheel, the aftertouch on the keyboard, or a volume style control pedal. I'm going to go through a couple of examples using a simple synth pad and I'll play you a sample of that sound right now. You'll notice the modulation wheel doesn't do anything right now. And so what we're going to do is assign our frequency parameter to the modulation wheel. Let's use the example that maybe we're playing in a dark room on stage and rather than having to reach for the frequency knob, hope we get the right one, we're going to assign that to our modulation wheel because it's one of our commonly used parameters on this sound. So the first thing I'm going to do, because I want the range to span from the bottom of the frequency range all the way to the top. So the first thing I'm going to do is bring my frequency knob all the way down. Now note that there's a little light beside the frequency knob, and this light is present on some of the commonly used functions, like the reverb knob, the compression knob. There are a few morphable controls that don't have the LED indicator. The volume levels are one of those and the draw bars on the organ is another example that doesn't have an LED light to indicate that it's morphed. You'll notice though, when I morph the frequency control, this light is going to turn on, letting me know that I've morphed this control. To morph the control and assign it to the modulation wheel, I'm going to hold the wheel button up here in the morph assign section and you'll notice as I hold that, the light blinks and it says change param to morph. What I'm going to do is bring my frequency knob all the way to the top end and you'll see the screen now says from 14 hertz to 21 kilohertz. Now I could have started with the frequency knob at half and tweaked it up or down and the from is going to pick up wherever that currently is uh, before you hit the button. Now I'm going to let go of the button and you'll notice that my frequency light is now on and my wheel light is on telling me that the frequency knob is now tied to my modulation wheel. So you'll also notice that if I start playing the sound, even though my frequency knob's all the way up, the sound is all the way at the bottom of the register because my modulation wheel is all the way down. If I start to bring my modulation wheel up, that is my frequency control tied or morphed to my modulation wheel. So that's pretty cool. I will make note, if you do tweak the frequency knob, this takes over for the starting point of your morphable control. So let's say I tweak my frequency knob rather than my modulation wheel, and I bring this all the way up. My modulation wheel now has a bottom end of the top and a top end of the top. I could bring this down to about half and now the bottom end of my morph control is going to be at about half and then I can go up to the top limit. And if I hold this again, we can kind of show you what's going on there. So I've got this around half and twisted up. So essentially that's what I did by tweaking this after I had assigned it. I could also accomplish the same thing, leaving it morphed and maybe bring that down to a third. So you have some live adjustability there with the morph control, but keep that in mind because it could also throw you off if you forget you assigned it to your morphable control and you go over and tweak the knob. Then you remember, you go back and it's going to remember the bottom end of whatever your frequency knob was set at. So let's say we want to clear this control and assign maybe our volume level to the modulation wheel instead. To clear the control, you see it says clear morph down here. That means you hold shift, tap the button, and the light goes away, the light goes away. We've cleared our morph. It no longer is morphed to that modulation wheel. 
Now let's say we want the volume level from zero to 100%, hold wheel, bring our volume level up, and you see it says from off to zero dB. I've got nothing. As I bring my modulation wheel up, you'll see that my volume level indicator also shows me where the volume level is at based on the modulation wheel. Let's clear this parameter and let's go on our frequency knob and let's assign that to our aftertouch. To do this, we hold the button below aftertouch and you'll see it says change param to morph. Now in this case, I want the frequency to be only a slight adjustment. So before I hold this, I'm gonna bring my frequency up to where I want it. I'm happy with that. I hold aftertouch. And I'm gonna bring this up just a little bit, which will give me a way to have some vibrato in my synth sound. I let go of that again. My frequency lights lit up and my aftertouch lights lit up. If I play this, and then I use the aftertouch, which you can trigger by deep pressing on the key. Now let's take this a step further and assign our wheel to our volume level. Again, we're gonna bring the volume level down, hold wheel, bring it up. Now the aftertouch is also velocity sensitive, so the deeper you press the key, the harder that control is brought in. We could really show this by changing our parameter to a much higher level. And that's essentially how you use Morph. Another example of this is in the organ section, we can morph the draw bars. Let's turn the rotary speaker on so it sounds better. And let's say we wanna morph the controls on here. And what we're gonna do is clear our current morph, bring our draw bars all the way back and hold the wheel and bring our draw bars to where we want them. Bring these up here. And what's gonna happen is when the modulation wheel is down, you see that the sliders, uh, the current setting is down. And as we bring that up, um, you'll see that it now displays the way that they're currently set. So I hope this has been helpful in getting to know how to morph controls in the Nord Stage 3. If you've got questions, throw them in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you found it helpful. And I will talk to you guys soon.